hi welcome back to my channel i know y'all have not seen me since last saturday but i came back okay and i've been trying to figure out which story time to talk about because there's a lot of story times that i want to tell but i'm not trying to offend anyone which there might be a second video coming up with this same outfit so if y'all see the same outfit then just know that i recorded in this twice i know y'all might hear a little fan in the background but my room is hot right now and i got on a jacket and you're probably wondering i'm like well if you're hot right now what do you have on a jacket for and because i don't know but first of all before we even really get into this video I want to go ahead and let you guys know about this hair. I know y'all see this. I know y'all see this. I know I know y'all see this Jew. The first time I came out here, I had my natural hair, so I probably didn't look as cute. They don't look cuter now. Like my hair inches, and this is curly me hair. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this hair because when I get my like sew-ins done or a wig or anything like that. I tend to have a lot of ladies ask me, where's that hair from, you know? So, this hair is from Curly Me Hair. This is unsponsored. Um, this is 22 inches, um, body wave, 13 by 4, 250 density. Um, I will have a link to the hair in my description box down below. But, yeah, like I said, this is unsponsored, though. So, but i will give y'all a link if y'all want just in case y'all want to purchase this hair um the hair is really soft it's really soft hair it did not come like this i actually crimped it this is the hair that i have for my prom and i was going to do a prom vlog but i didn't get to do it unfortunately like stuff is just oh just very like busy but like i said this is from curly me hair um i did not install this but i did do the crimps in it and i laid my baby hairs back down um the lace is good but i know you can see that right there but it's okay it's it's okay it still looks nice can't even really tell i mean i got like a light shining on me so don't just be acting like you can clock my lace yes i got light on right now so that's the only reason why you could clock my lace right now it's 22 inches did i say it was 22 inches because honestly i don't know if it's because i'm short because i'm like 5'2 and hair always falls super long on me it's 22 inches and it falls pretty long on me like it's it's long like it falls pretty long on me so I don't know i don't know if it's really 22 inches i don't know if i pressed the wrong button but everything will be in the description box you know i'm gonna go back and look at my receipt for my order and everything will be in the description box of the hair in case you want it just like this i'm gonna put it on the description box but um yeah that's basically it about this hair curly me if y'all see this sponsor me sponsor me because like i'm always buying y'all hair y'all seen that curly hair from my graduation photos yeah kinky curly hair from curly me hair yeah curly me i've been spending my coins with y'all so y'all need to sponsor me okay and i'm plugging y'all right now for free like sponsor me just just go ahead and do it like i'm not a big youtuber yet but i got great faith in myself that one day i will be so yeah let's just get straight into the video okay so i'm gonna talk about something that all women have to deal with well at least all black women because y'all gonna feel me when i talk about this okay let me not i'm not gonna have my hands ashy in this video give me one second i'm not gonna be embarrassing myself in this video with ashy hands i'm sorry i'm just not so can y'all doesn't that look way better like let me not be embarrassing myself like that but back to what i was saying y'all have dealt with this a lot this is a source of a lot of our anxiety when it comes to being out on our own you know having to run errands and stuff and that is the gas station oh my god like i cannot count how many times i have went to a gas station even if i'm with people and been approached by older guys trying to talk to me 
and I just had to be like I'm, I'm nine like oh sir like I'm only 12 like oh sir I have a boyfriend and no you can't even really use the boyfriend line because they don't care they don't care like you really have to say that you're underage and some of the times even though you're underage they still do not care and I know that y'all feel me about this okay that says you're trying to get some gas for your car and have to be worried about a guy coming up to you and because you reject them they slice your tire in half like who wants to have to deal with that like it's so unpleasant and it's just not fair sometimes i go to the gas station lot looking like a bum like this day that i'm about to tell y'all about with this gas station creep was i looking like a bum because most of the time i go to the gas stations on the weekends i go to the dollar store and i have on a bonnet no makeup not even my eyebrows and my eyelashes on like i just go looking like a bum because i can you know it's my right as a woman to look like a bum if i want to you know and for some reason most of the time when i'm not dolled up this type of bull crap happens and i don't understand it but you know i don't know maybe they see potential potential that i don't want them to see but anyway so let me just get straight into this okay so one weekend we were at home chilling you know i didn't have to go to work my mom don't have to go to work and my dad didn't have to go to work and we have a junior food mart in town my mom coming to the front and she was like i want some chicken she was like i want some chicken she was like do you want some chicken and y'all i love junior food mart chicken tenders okay they have the best fat juicy chicken tenders i have ever had in my life like they are so good like <sighs> crunchy got the it's juicy but crunchy like i don't i don't get it like i don't get how they cook it i don't know how they do it but it it be so good now this dream food mart that i went to they don't be having the biscuits okay they just give you a little the little dinner roll i love the biscuits too i love getting Two chicken tenders with a biscuit and two honey mustard sauce because yeah it took me 200 honey mustard sauce to eat it okay so i love the chicken tenders so i was like okay okay cool like i could go she wanted me to get her and my dad something and then i was gonna get me something and that's what we were gonna eat for the day okay and that was cool with me that was fine and dandy so you know i get in the car you know I'm driving to town, you know, bumping my little music and whatnot, thinking I'm in a music video because, let's be honest, when we in the car and we bumping our music, we be thinking we in a music video. So, I make it to the gas station slash Junior Food Mart because it's a gas station with Junior Food Mart chicken. Y'all, if y'all know what Junior Food Mart is, y'all know it being a little gas station and y'all know the setup. So, I go in there and... For some reason, they did not have, I think they only had spicy chicken that day, and they were, wait, they were cooking the mild weight, unfortunately, but they had my chicken tenders, so I went ahead and, you know, got my chicken tenders, and then I went back, and I was, you know, waiting a little bit for them to pull the chicken out the grease so I can get what my mom and dad wanted, y'all this man okay let me try to describe him to y'all so he was kind of short okay he was a dark-skinned man he was older he had to be like in his 40s okay and he walks through the door and as soon as he walked through the door i get this gut-wrenching feeling i'm just like oh no like why like why like why can't you wait until i left like the chicken isn't even ready like why did you have to come right now so you know i'm sitting there i'm just looking i'm like this is gonna this is gonna be bad and he notices me not me staring at him or anything but he notices me and i'm trying to just you know look the other way because i'm just like i do not want this man to look at me like do not look at me like do not worry about me because I'm terrified like honestly I was terrified like I did not want this man to say anything to me because I was scared okay and it was other women around his age like it's other grown women in the store so why you have to single me out 
so guess what i do i leave the store i leave the store i sure do i sure do the food was not you know ready that my mom didn't want it so i left the store because sir me and you have nothing to talk about like me and you are two different generations like i will call my dad and have him come beat your your anus like like leave me alone like don't be looking at me because i'm feeling sexualized and i don't like to feel sexualized by older men well it's not i don't like to feel sexualized by any older men but especially not some older man that can be my dad or my uncle like it's gross i i don't like it i'm sorry i don't so i go to the car and it's a big truck parked by me okay so i go to the car and i call my mom and i'm like mom they don't have y'all chicken ready yet i'm like run it over to me again what y'all want and she's telling me what she wants okay and i see this man walk, walk out of the store mind y'all the whole time this is happening i texted my boyfriend i was texting my boyfriend when i was in the store when i went to the car i texted him he was with his uncle at the time so i couldn't call him but you know my mom was there you know and i'm like i said i'm asking her to tell me what they wanted again and i tell her all right mom like it's this older man in there and like i'm scared like he looking at me like i literally just like just walked out the store and she like she was like, oh, you better tell him um, you were a minor. And at this time, I was 17. Was I 17? I was 17. So, honestly, I was a minor. So, I was like, um, I don't want to talk to him. Like, honestly, I don't know why it'd be the point where I can't just tell them to leave me alone. But I think it's just because I know, like, guys at the gas stations are aggressive. Like, they do not just leave you alone just because you tell them to leave you alone like it takes a little force okay and i don't know where my taser was but i didn't have my taser i don't think i just wasn't thinking to use it but like i'm petrified and like i said he done walked out the store and he walks over to this truck okay and this negro looks into my window and i'm just like i'm just like on the phone with my mama like like um mom like i'm trying to like look over a little bit so he don't see like try to read my lips i'm like i'm like mom 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 he's he's at my window and my mom like girl you better tell him who your daddy is and i don't know why I'm, this always my mom you know reaction like to tell somebody who my daddy is because everybody might not know who my daddy is like can't just be like oh my daddy is blah 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 and they just gonna be like oh like oh i'm sorry like I, like i'm sorry i even said something to you like it doesn't work like that like some people just might not care so he looks in my window he sees him on the phone and he's just like like just looking through the window like and i'm just like oh my god he ends up going back into the store because obviously he said i ain't leaving so he must have been thinking oh she gotta come back in the store so i'm like mom i'm gonna go back in the store okay i said i'm gonna call you if i need you okay so she was like okay but if he approach you just say that you're just say that you're underage or something and she I, she was like just call me if you need me just say you're just say you're underage baby okay so i go back in the store and as soon as i go back in the store he's standing in a line he's standing in line to get some chicken too okay and i'm just like walking on by and he tries to stop me and i hear him say like hey how you doing and i just tried to fake like i did not hear him and i just walked straight on by like yeah i was trying to avoid this man avoid having to say anything to this man at all costs like i did not want to have to explain to him why he could not talk to me i didn't want to, have to tell him anything because to me honestly i did not owe him anything like you see that i'm not looking at you you see that i'm minding my business so obviously i don't want to talk to you like i'm not sitting here you know giving you the little 
winky wink or anything like leave me alone i don't want to talk to you i have a maintenance so leave me alone and like ugh, like you're like 45 or something like leave me alone how at someone your own age okay because it's not me pass him he's like hey how you doing and I, I just try to ignore it and i walked to get into the other line so he was like at the line it was a lady on this side and then it was like a man on this side that was fixing a chicken and stuff so i walked back to this line that i was originally in and he's standing over here and like right here in between both of us is like a little owl thing but it don't come all the way out where it's like right in between us but it's like right there like with some chips and other stuff on it i'm standing there and i'm waiting and i see him looking at me so y'all know what i did I pulled out my phone, you know, I pull out my phone and I'm like, hello, mom, mom, he's in here, like he's in here and he's looking at me, like he's in here and he's looking at me and I'm just on the phone with my mom, I'm just on the phone with my mom, just like trying to let this guy see, oh, she's on the phone, so obviously, she's talking to someone so it'd be rude of me to approach her and wrong 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 this man walks up to me while i'm on the phone so imagine i'm on the phone sitting in the gas station i'm just like yeah mom like i'm just i'm just waiting on the chicken and like this man is over here looking at me like making me so uncomfortable like i'm so ready to go home like he really looks like and this man walks up to me while i'm on the phone with my mother and he's like hey hey how you doing uh -huh. you from around here and i'm just like no I'm, I'm, so I'm still talking to my mom I'm like yeah mom like the chicken's about to come up i'm about to get the chicken for you okay and this man is right by me and he's like so so you know like what's up with you like like what's up with you and i'm sitting on the phone with my mom and i'm just like i turn over to this man i'm like sir i'm only 15 years old i'm too young for you and he's just like oh 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 oh, oh, oh okay uh, 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 okay and he walks walks away as soon as i said sir i'm 15 years old all i hear is, <laughs> i know you didn't tell that man you're 15 <laughs> you laughing like what if he just would have been like i don't care but no my mom was sitting on the phone cracking up at the fact that i told this man that i was 15 and he couldn't talk to me and mama are you serious like why would you be laughing like it's funny now because of his reaction but well actually no it's still not funny to me like it makes me mad honestly because like i didn't want to have to say anything to you and like you basically forced me to have to say something to you even though i didn't want to because you're being thirsty okay we just told him i was 17 but he probably would have thought like oh well she's about to be 18 soon so let me still try it like no mm -mm. <sighs> no but he ended up walking out the store i got my chicken and i went home okay i went home after i got my chicken and i enjoyed my little chicken tenders okay and it was a good night yeah that's basically the story more of the story is choose wisely which gas stations you go to that's the only gas station that i knew around here that had junior food mart so yeah just be just be careful and if you are going to be stopping at gas stations that are that look kind of risky have you something girl have you something boy because like it doesn't matter like you could be a male and get stopped by someone it doesn't really matter like just protect yourself try to get gas in the daytime don't try and this was in the daytime so i don't even know i don't even know what advice to give y'all so y'all don't have to deal with this i i honestly don't know because there there really is no advice that i can give y'all because either way it goes somebody gonna try to holler at you at a gas station there's no way around that so yeah that's basically it for this story time he was a creep he looked at creepy y'all like i was just like ugh, ugh, mm -mm. scared me i don't like to go to gas stations child i'm just have to get a look i need to get one of those self-defense keychains honestly i'm just have to get one of those because this ain't gonna get it but 
always be on go okay just just always be on go at the gas station okay just keep kicking just 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 keep on kicking okay just just keep on kicking all right just keep on kicking if you got a, if you got um some pepper spray spray it okay if you got a taser just this is like do the best you can sis until the police get there okay but make sure that you like comment and subscribe share this video and please like 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 youtube needs to push me to the algorithm and in order for that to happen i need you guys to support me and like these videos and comment and subscribe and all of that so youtube will be like oh this must be entertaining let me push this to other people so they watch it okay so check the description box because i'm going to have the details to this hair in case y'all want it so don't forget to do that as well and i'm going to catch you guys in the next video